Hey guys, I just wanted to update you with my summoner build. It is now early endgame for, th for this build and he is level 73. I have changed a couple of my imprints since my last video. And uh, the first thing I have changed is I'm using the Bone Spear imprint which spreads the vulnerable effect. And I found this amulet which is a pretty sick amulet. It gives me plus 3 to Hellwind Commander which I will show you why is it so good and I have plus three to all curse skills. So speaking of curses, I have moved away from corpse explosion and I have picked up double curses. Um, I'm trying to make this as pure summoner as possible so I, I, I stopped trying to cast other things. Uh, unfortunately in Diablo 4 you have to have some single target along with your minions because there are going to be times when you have priority targets like damage reduction uh, mobs or uh, elites with suppressor where if you use just your minions it's just not you're just going to be there forever so i am only using bone spear now along with my minions and um i think it's working out pretty well uh, you're going to be able to take a look now helmet commander is uh, really nice to have on your amulet as give them 30 percent increased damage which is pretty nice it like literally doubled this passive and uh, i've taken more points into iron maiden over decrypify simply because iron maiden gives them a thorn effect which further increases my passive damage and i'm trying to get as much damage as possible without casting much other than that in my paragon tree as you can see my cult leader board has dead razor my original starting board has mage and my golem board has warrior my Book of the Dead is the same, my uh, gear is pretty much the same other than the amulet and the ring imprint. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys some gameplay footage now. damage mob resistance mobs which you have to prioritize them down with bone spear once they're dead The mobs are 4 levels ahead of me. I like doing content and showing you guys uh, a bit higher than me just so you can see a more realistic setting. I, ca I could tone it down and show you guys an e easier setting but I do not want to give you guys unreali unrealistic expectations.
So I want to show you when there's a suppressor mob like this, you want to go past it so your mages move inside it and then they can target him. That is just something I learned over doing like 30, 40 dungeons. I'm gonna take that shrine. Trying not to spam that much bone spear just so you guys get an idea how minions are performing. Now obviously I will be using all my essence when I'm not trying to showcase my minions, but yeah. This is kind of their potential at this point. As you can see, um, nothing too crazy. This build is never going to be S tier and if you guys want me to stay with this build, please let me know. Otherwise, I am going to try to go to a more stronger setup which probably includes Bone Storm and uh, more Bone Skills, maybe some Dot Skills with the Necromancer and try to show you guys some like a strong build. But as for a minion build, unless I get the minion ring which I know is going to increase my da uh, damage further. There is not really that much more room for improvement. I could level up my glyphs a bit more. I can level up a bit more and take on easier content being uh, appropriate level. Go to non sigil dungeon runs and showcase that like uh, some other videos. But I'm trying to show you guys like realistic hard setups and this is how it's going to be. It is as you can see it is capable. Uh, it's just a bit harder and a bit slower than S tier builds. But it's still very, very enjoyable. It is high um, APM build, I would say, because you have to put both your curses, you have to use race skeleton, you use your bone spear to spread vulnerable, and use your golem attack on top of the ultimate, which is more than most builds because you can just spam the buttons and uh, let it all happen. You actually have to target areas and place get things. So it is really enjoyable that way. I am going to try to stick to it for maybe a couple more days, but. Uh, I may move on to another Necromancer build if uh, there is not that much interest in it. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I am trying to make more content for you guys. I have some good videos coming up. Anyways, see you guys.